today we are going to learn what is functions and how to use it this is one of the most important topic in php you can consider functions as a reusable block of code functions simplify the coding process and make code easier to follow it is a block of code that can reuse multiple times functions are very useful to save your lot of time to create a function you will start with a function keyword and then you will specify the name for that function so in this case i'm going to specify the name fn name you can specify any name to this function and then specify parenthesis and just after that specify opening and closing curly braces and in this block you can put any php code so this code can reuse multiple times so i'm going to just add here echo statement and say this is function so when i execute this function it's going to echo this message now if you try to execute this statement it's not going to do anything because we did not call this function yet so keep in mind you always need to call a function to use the code so i'm going to just add here function name and then specify parenthesis you can simply identify a function by using this parenthesis now this is a very simple way to create this function now you can also create a function to save your time so you can specify task to the function and use that function multiple time to save your time so i'm going to pass two parameters to this function so i'm going to just pass a and b this is just like we create a variable in php and instead of echoing this message i'm going to just echo a is greater than b then i'm going to just return true else i'm going to return false so when i execute this statement i'm going to just have either true or false when i call this function i'm going to get an error because i did not specify these parameters to this function when i call it so i need to first specify values to these arguments so i need to pass parameter to this function so i'm going to pass here 4 and 7 I'm just going to pass these values to these variables. This first value 4 specified to this first variable and this second 7 value specified to the second variable. Now if 4 is greater than 7 then it's going to return true otherwise return false. So as you know 4 is not greater than 7 so it's going to return false. Now functions are not limited. You can also return a value using this function. Let's say you don't want to echo anything, you just want to return the multiplication of both these numbers. So I'm going to just get rid of this statement and I'm going to just say here return a multiply by b. So when I call this function, it's going to just multiply 4 by 7 and this will just return the result back to this function and you can simply store this result in the variable and you can use this variable whenever you want. You can also call this function with variables as well. For example, I'm going to just create here a variable fn and specify the function name to it in the string and now instead of calling this name of this function i'm going to just call this variable right here just like this when i execute this statement i'm going to have the same result so i'm going to just call this function using this variable as simple as that now this is just the basic use of this function you can put lots of code in this function to save your time now functions are super useful to save time you can also pass functions as an argument to this function. For example, let's say if I just specify here parenthesis, then this second argument is a type of function. So when we call this function, we need to pass function as a second parameter instead of specifying this value. So I'm going to just get rid of this statement and specify here a function just like this. I'm going to just get rid of this value and call here function just like this specify parenthesis and in the curly braces in the block of this function i'm going to just return 5 plus 5 so this function is going to do two things it's going to first add 5 plus 5 and then multiply it by 4 so if you try to echo this value it's going to return 40 because 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 and 10 multiply by 4 is equal to 40. So using a single function, I specify two tasks to this function. I just add 5 plus 5 and return it and then multiply it by 4 using this return statement. You can also call this function as a pure function because we did not specify any external value in this function. You can pass value to this function as a parameter of that function. Now I hope you understand how functions are work. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.